Hello everyone. Today our topic is applications of cloud computing, examples of cloud computing, and what can they be used for. First applications of cloud computing. Cloud computing is used in different fields. The main fields are e-learning, enterprise resource planning, ERP, and e-governance. In e-learning, students, faculty members, researchers can connect to the cloud of their organization and access data and information from there. Some examples are class recording, email, virtual classrooms, virtual labs, surveys, etc. Next, enterprise resource planning. With the growing businesses, managing applications, human resources, payroll, etc., becomes expensive and complex. To overcome these difficulties, service providers can install ERP in the cloud itself. Examples are project and HR management supply chain and vendor, finance and accounting, etc. And regarding e-governance, governments can improve services provided to citizens, organizations, institutions locally, and can improve cooperation with other governments as well. Examples are compliant resolution system, e-police, e-court, payment and tax system, employee management system, industry and energy, etc. Next, cloud computing examples. Some examples are Google Documents, Microsoft Office 365, email, calendar, Skype, WhatsApp application, and others. Using the services provided by these companies, users can access their emails, data, documents through the internet at any time from anywhere on any device. Another examples are Zoom and Microsoft Teams. These are cloud-based software platforms for video and audio conferencing that records meetings and saves them to the cloud, enabling users to access them anywhere and at any time. Next example is AWS Lambda. It allows developers to run code for applications or backing services without having to provision or manage servers. Next, what can cloud computing be used for? Cloud computing can be used for Creating new applications, the cloud provides you with the opportunity to build, deploy, and scale applications with ease, whether they are for web or mobile. Next, store and recover data. The cloud will help you protect your data at a more cost-effective price while it's keeping it accessible from any location and device. It will simply transfer your data from the internet to an off-site cloud storage system. Next, software as a service. This allows you to provide customers with your latest software updates, no matter where they are. Next, test applications. This will allow you to easily scale your applications up or down using your cloud infrastructure. Next, analyze your data across the different teams and locations within the cloud. Here, you can make the most of machine learning and AI in the cloud to help you gain new insights to make smart decisions. The list continues with the cloud, the services and possibilities are endless. For today, that's all. Thank you.